into Privateer FX. Our first video was blocked today by YouTube because I was playing Blue Oyster Cult in the background. That's a no-no. Anyway, uh, Bank of Canada today, which is why we were playing BOC. Let's uh, let's look at this dollar cat chart. Um, very interesting. Very interesting bar yesterday. Uh, traded up to the top of the range and then traded to the bottom of the range, and so now we're pretty much defined here. Price is above 130 now. We'll look for continuation if the Bank of Canada is incredibly dovish and then price prices below 128.60 uh, we will look for trend reversal this is interesting although there's no expected change in the Bank of Canada and a lot of people are looking at Governor Timothy Lane's speech on Thursday as slightly more important uh, this is worth watching just because we've had a big uptrend had a big red day, and this will either today's price action will either signal continuation or reversal. So that's worth watching. Elsewhere, we're, we're looking at this um, short-term pattern here in sterling yen, 146.55. Obviously, Gary Cohn resigned, as you know from our Asia video. U.S. stocks got smoked. We are a seller of U.S. stocks today. We're not looking to hit the bid here um, at 26.90. We will look for higher prices, maybe 27.02 and 27.12. We will be getting short U.S. equities today. On the currency side, we're not chasing dollar yen either. It's kind of the same trade. The problem with this low right here, 105. 27 is you're heading right into 105 the figure which is going to be a car crash of derivative and DNTs and so um, the momentum is going to be a little bit sort of upside down heading into 105 so we're just watching that for now otherwise we don't mind selling Aussie uh, we're kind of you know we had a mediocre GDP last night we're looking at sort of a risk-off sort of scenario. Aussie looks like a sell up towards 78, 20, 30. So that's kind of in the crosshairs. And Euro Sterling is worth talking about. We had some news flow last night. Uh, UK Brexit Secretary Davis. He was saying there's so many things that the EU and Britain still disagree on. He can't even remember them all. And then other sources are saying that they're going to push back the Brexit deadline. Uh, just general bad news flow for the UK. Year's high is 89.51. Keep an eye on that. Uh, Sterling ends our horse today. Otherwise, we are watching and waiting to sell stocks. Have a good one, guys. Talk to you later.